Today I was going to do a store tour of Amok Time. It is in Hicksville, New York, which is Nassau County, Long Island. And it's a muck, like running a muck, like a riot. And we have a nondescript entrance here. The sign is on the front along the road, but the entrance is on the side. So you have to go on the side exit here, on the side entrance. Um, this has a very much like a warehouse feel as we go inside of it. But this place is serious. This is legit. Look at all these figurines and all these statues. A lot of Funko Pop. Oh, this is hardcore with the uh, collectibles. Look at the size of these statues and the... Uh, this is the uh, real deal for collectibles or toys. So this place is serious here. I think they have an eBay store. It's mostly, I guess, online. It's uh, Amok Time Toys, I think, on eBay. Let's do this. Man, look at all the stuff they got here. All right, they got a uh, humongous gremlin here. All right, I'm here for the comic books, though. So let's head inside and see what we got here. Let's do this. How you doing? All right, we got a bunch of Funko Pop, right? Funko Pop is taking over every store. It's so popular. And, uh, yeah, they got a serious collection of uh, statues and uh, collectibles and toys and figurines. All right, here we go. We got some trade paperbacks here. They are stocked. Everything you could uh, want here. They got uh, Why the Last Man, X-Men. <laughs> Outcast, looks like. You got the Outcast. Powers. This Michael Bendis thing is supposed to be awesome. Any of you guys read this, Powers? Everyone's always rave raving about it. All right, I know we have a uh, cool little uh, dollar reprint section. All right. Got Sandman there. For a dollar. Oh, look at this uh, Flash. This is an awesome story arc. This Flash story arc. For a dollar, you can't go wrong, right? All right, we got to give it, we got to give this store praise right away. This is the first comic book store in America not playing punk rock. You cannot believe the cliche. This is the only comic book store in America not playing punk. Can you believe it? All right, here we go. The uh, cool little sound uh, tracks they're playing. I guess movie soundtracks. All right, here's more uh, reprints. Classic reprints. Let's do this. All right, cool. I like these things. If there's a book that you want, I had that Tales of Suspense already. True Believers. They have the uh, Taskmaster. They have some uh, artwork here. All right, cool. And then we have some more... Uh, they are stocked on trade paperbacks and Omnibus. All-Star Superman. The Todd McFarlane uh, Batman, right? Is that what that was? Or Grant Morrison? All right, now we're going to go to the section here. This is all the new comic books. They, it looks like they have uh, they have everything you could want. They have the big two. They have Marvel, DC, and then they have a ton of indies. So all the new comics that are out, all the new floppies, they have everything here. <laughs> And we have, oh, they put uh, DC Future State along the top shelf. They've organized it. They have the whole <laughs> Future State run on the top shelf organized if you want it. And they have uh, some more statues here. And there's some more trade paperbacks here. All right, so for the new issues here, going along the side and the back, they have... Uh, all right, got a Venom, King in Black, all the stuff that's out now. This is uh, March of 2021. There's that Punchline one-shot by uh, Tinnin. <laughs> still have that. This is awesome. The Batman the Adventure continues. This is supposed to be a six-issue miniseries, but it's still going. It's like on number eight. So I guess it's sold well, and they're going to keep going with it. Wow. And along the top, they have some... Uh, oh, cool. They put out all the uh, variants. I guess they had a ton of incentive variants. And the store is putting them out. Those aren't cover. Those are like, uh... This is that Aliens book from the original screenplay. They printed the original screenplay out. But I missed issue one and two, and I think now they're on five. It's by the legendary Dan O'Bannon, who also did Return of the Living Dead. They made a comic out of it. All right, we got a lot of cool Star Wars stuff here. The Darth Vader run. Bounty Hunters run. Oh, here we go. Star Wars High Republic. All right, this is number two, the first print. Let me grab this. Let me grab the number two first print. 
And also they have number three. Let me grab that. Oh, here's the uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson Superman run. He's taking the a new creative team is taking over, right? And that artwork looks like Darwin Cook a little bit, right? The very flat matte, but very traditional looking. And let me grab number three too of the Star Wars High Republic. Wow. Alright, got that Dr. Afra. Alright, this is a uh the store has a warehouse feel to it, but this is an excellent comic book store here. So if you guys are local, let me know if this is your local LCS. You're lucky to have a good one here. This is nice. Alright, and then we have uh they have all the DC and Marvel. Uh and all the top they have they have the uh deceased looks like an incentive variant. What was that one in ten or one in twenty five or something? So they're putting out their uh these aren't cover price. These are, uh, I guess, 10, 20 bucks. And like I said, they have the whole Future State line along the whole top shelf. So they have everything available here. Oh my god, who the hell cares? All right, cool. They are stocked here. Let me grab this too. Let me see the Daredevil. If they have back issues here. Looking for that issue 25, right? You never know. That's where Elektra puts on the, uh, puts on the uh, Daredevil, uh, becomes Daredevil for a couple issues. All right, we got, uh, Firepower, Oblivion Song I've been reading. This is really cool. Look how beautiful this cover looks. I don't know what kind of paper that's on, but the artwork there looks so clear. It looks really nice. Here's Die. More, uh, Kirkman stuff. There's, uh, something stealing the children. Got some indies. Oh, here's that hot Spider-Man book. This is the second print. But in 2021, second prints matter. Let me grab this. Second prints matter, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I missed the first print on this. The Nick Spencer run. Let me grab it. Second print. I think this is the end of a story arc. What is this? The uh, Last Remains story arc, maybe? All right, got some uh, Civil War. What's that number? Uh, is that number one? Yeah, that was number one. All right, we have uh, Stillwater, Chip Zdarsky book. And then we have Batman. What was that Urban Legends? A new book coming out now. And they got cover A, cover B. All right, yeah, they have various covers, too. All the uh, different covers and some variants. The books on top, they look like books. They look like trade paperbacks, but they're hardcover. Oh my god, who the hell cares? This is the latest Daredevil. There's no back issues. I was checking for back issues. Sometimes they have uh, older issues behind it, but no. All right, I read that uh, indie book, that Deep Beyond book, number one. It got mixed reviews, but I kind of liked it. And here's number two here. Maybe I should grab it. It's the last issue left. It must have sold well, huh? There's no issues left. There's only one left. Maybe I'll grab issue two. And they have The uh, American Vampire by uh, Scott Snyder. Some Rorschach, Wonder Woman. All right, so all the new books, they have it here. They're totally stocked. And they got crossover, a little less Ronin. All right. It's a hot book right now, and they have the uh, Walking Dead Deluxe issues. They got this Ice Cream Man thing here. What is this? The Ha 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 book? Wow. I don't know. Can you trust those reviews? I don't know if this book is... Uh, it's getting good reviews, but I don't know. Oh, God Country. I wanted that Donny Cates. Uh, but those are trade paperbacks with a hardcover. Looks like a trade paperback of that. Batman Dan, they're still hanging around. All right, and then along the side here, we have more trade paperbacks. Got a lot of Batman collection. <laughs> this is a really large store from outside. You don't realize it, but they have... This is a whole new section here. All right, let's go to the older section on the other side of the store. Oh, they got the uh, DCAU uh, movies here. They got the animated films. And the other side of the store has all of these back issues. Look at this. Nice little cool uh, long boxes you could dig through if you want to do some uh, back issue action. Nice. Right? A lot of the stores are moving away from the back issues, but they are uh, 
you could do some hunting in here. They got Detective Comics, the first Robin, looks like a reprint, and the uh, first Batgirl. And then they have some more statues and statuettes in these cases here. This store is packed, by the way. It's Friday, so I guess everybody got paid. But there are so many people in here, and this guy is running around, running the store, uh, showing people statues. I guess everybody got paid today, and they are blowing their money on collectibles. The store is rocking here. Let's see what we got. There's a bunch of... Uh, I'm not really into statues, to be honest, and uh, figurines and collectibles. I'm just more into the comic books. No! But it looks like this place is uh, leaning more towards that uh, kind of uh, collectible stuff. But they do have a ton of uh, books. I don't have time today to go through the back issues. No! I mean, normally it would be fun to kind of dig through them. And especially they have uh, look, Millennium Falcon here. Also, the back issues, they have uh, long boxes on the bottom below the uh, main uh, boxes. So you can pull those out, I know, in a bunch of stores and go through them. But you see down there, go through them, look for uh, stuff that have been maybe forgotten, have been sitting there a while maybe, get some deals, I don't know. I don't have time today to go through that though. I didn't realize the store was going to be so nice, I didn't bring that much, I was just passing by. I was doing work out in Long Island and I was passing by the store and I came in. Oh, look at this, here we go, Detective Comics, The Reaper. That four-issue story arc with the Reaper? <laughs> it's uh, Mike uh, Barr wrote that, right? And this really influenced Mask of the Phantasm. Had a big influence on that uh, DC animated uh, movie. Wow. There's some Star Wars books here. And I'm looking at, looks like Darth Vader number three. That's not the, uh, here's the uh, Reaper book. <laughs> this is a cool run. It's like... Uh, he wrote this, The Reaper. He also wrote uh, Batman Year Two, didn't he, Mike Barr? <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of people in the store, actually. Uh, I guess it's Friday. Everybody got paid. It's pretty crowded. I didn't want to film people. I don't know. I was gonna... Filming in a store, and I forgot to ask the owner if I could film. I just started filming. Oh! We are in the social media era, and I am picking up rude... Uh... Characteristics. I didn't even ask. I just started filming. I should have asked him first, right? It's a beautiful little store here. Let's go through some of them. There we go. Some Judge Dread IDW. This is not the uh, British. Uh, this is on IDW. I guess uh, volume two or three. All right, yes, here we go. We got Injustice, man. I love when stores have these sets. Year two, I should grab this, man. Year two for 40 bucks, the whole set. Look at this, man. They had year three and year four there also. Injustice, man. I mean, this is a great read. It's kind of underrated book. And that video game was wildly popular. But I think I'm gonna grab year two. And on the front here, there's no, no Justice is a good run too. I love when they have sets like this. They put sets together. <laughs> they got Star Wars TIE Fighter set. You get the whole set. There's a rumor going around. The comic stores started putting sets together. Look at this collectibles because of the uh, pandemic. That was a total rumor. Comic book stores always put sets together. Like uh, old school ones. Old school ones put sets in the... Uh, look at these beautiful uh, old Batman books. All right, Judith Myers. <laughs> All right, we got a little Halloween... Uh, Gravestone, look at this. Batman White Knight, the whole set. Let's do this. And DC Unkillables, the whole set. Let's do this. They got Superman Unchained, the whole set. The Scott Snyder run. They got the whole set there. These sets are awesome. Look at this. Wow. Oh, I should ask him first, right? If I get those. I'm sorry, I can't. Can, you can't touch those? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? The White Knight, can I touch that? There's so many people in the store asking to look at statues and Another making purchases at the register. I don't want to bother them. So I tried to grab, let me see, uh, it's the whole set. Look at this. I have this run, it's an awesome read, but my copy, issue one and two, I have a re is a reprint, is a second printing. This looks like the, uh, be cool to have another copy of this set. Damn, I don't know how much money I have on me. I didn't realize it was going to be, uh, they would have so much stuff in here. And they have a little bit of an old-school wall in the back. I like when they put the old-school stuff on here. And it's very 
contemporary hot books for the zeitgeist right now. They're very with it. They have... Oh, look at Spider-Gwen in the corner. <laughs> and they have the Todd McFarlane uh, spawn. They got Star Wars books, which are very hot right now. And that Berserker book is supposed to be like the most high, highly selling book in the past five years or something. Like it's selling crazy numbers. Can't believe Death of Superman is starting to show up on walls. All right, so that was the store. Uh, I tried to make it quick and... Uh, I'm taking too much time here, so... Oh, uh, that was pretty awesome. That was a great little store, man. I didn't realize how nice the store was going to be. I should have uh, prepared and brought some money, more money with me. But I did get some good uh, catches. Let me know in the comments below if this is your local LCS. If I missed anything. And check out my other videos.